Okay, welcome to the final video in this series of this smallmouth bass wood carving. Uh, today I'm going to be airbrushing base coats on it, the base color coats on that. And I use this acrylic paint that I get from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is the Apple Barrel brand and there's a also a folk art brand. Uh, I think they're, they're both about the same. Um, it doesn't spray well through an airbrush is the reason why I just use it for doing the base coats. Uh, I, like I say, I'll take it inside here in a few minutes and and I'll do the details by hand. Um, this has been set up. It's already been sealed uh, with the 50-50 lacquer mixture that I do with uh, lacquer and lacquer thinner. I mix equal parts, 50%, and then seal the bare wood. And then... I just this is gesso it's got a gesso coating on it and then the paint goes on top of it um, so I'm gonna get set up on this and uh, I'll be back in just a minute I'm gonna start off with the white on the base the bottom of the fish and uh, I mix it with water and get it pretty thin and then just pour it in the cup you can see it's kind of soupy um, pretty thick consistency otherwise it does not flow well through the airbrush so I'm gonna start off with and I Took some Vaseline and coated the eyes with it to help help keep it sticking to the eyes. Putting the yellow coat down. This will be the first base coat. I need to go turn my air pressure up on my regulator. Sometimes that helps turning the, the average PSI for an airbrush is about 30 PSI. Um, I found that if I pump it up, crank it up to about 40 or 50, it sprays this acrylic paint a little better. So give me just a second. There are strainers you can get that you can strain this paint through and it makes it a little smoother and easier to spray. But I don't go through all that. And what I'm doing now is I'm mixing up an olive green color that will go on in real light coatings until I get the, uh, the base color I'm looking for. And I may add just a little bit more orange to this to give it a little more of a bronzy type appearance. Just thin it down with a little bit of water here so that it's fairly soupy. I don't, I don't want that in there. Now I'm going to start hitting it with just real light coat to this uh, green. 
may not see much of it on camera. What I'm doing now is making up, mixing up a little darker color. Um, and I will apply it in uh, in light layers and, and build it up till I get to where I want. And what I mixed in this was some orange and this olive green and a little bit of black. And I also put a little bit of uh, burnt umber in there. That just kind of tones it down a little bit. Maybe kind of hard to tell in the sunlight, but it's starting to take on the bronze color that they're well known for. Sun's making it hard to see. I know it's going to make it hard to see on the color, I mean on the camera. Alright, I've uh, I finished all I'm going to do with the airbrush. Um, as you saw to recap, I started off, and forget the paint on my hands and my shirt. I mean, this, I wear this shirt to get messy um but i'll go back in you know i started out with the yellows and then i gradually built up color over the top of that to give it that nice bronzy gold color um i'll actually give it even more dry brush coatings inside uh, after i add details to the scales and the patterns um, the white on the belly is not white um, it if you look at a small mouth it's gray it's got a gray mottled look to it so I'll do that with the either with the sponge or paper towel or something on this white on the belly here and like I say I'll add the, the, the details of the patterns I did spray a little bit of a hint of the pattern in it um, just for just the poor background most of that will probably get covered up some of it will remain visible um, but anyway I'm gonna get started go inside and get started on that and uh, get set up and I'll be in the air conditioning <laughs> so I'm gonna set that right there and I'll see you back in a few minutes inside okay so I'm ready to start uh, doing some dry brushing on this uh, putting hand details on it I'm going to start off by establishing the pattern and I'm going to use a um, not completely black uh, but an almost a very dark um, base and I will and I'll look and I got reference here and on my phone and I'll I'll add these patterns in and like I say they'll be dark at first but I'll be going back and adding washes on top of that and, and, and individual scale colors as well. So they'll get washed over and that black will fade. Uh, and I may end up going over it again just, just until I get the effect I want. Okay.
and I'm just lightly brushing this on building it up letting it kind of build up this behind this fan will be the hardest but I can reach in there Okay, there's the pattern. Um, like I say, I'll uh, I'll be doing some thin washes over the top of this. I'm going to go in between here now, and give it some color to give it that bronze look. Um, and I'm probably going to be using this. I've got a gold here, if I can find it. I don't see yellow. I gotta find the gold, but anyway, I'm gonna be putting in, um, start highlighting the scale, tipping the scales, and that will give it another layer of depth. So uh, let me find the gold. And I might tone this gold down a little bit. It might be a little much. I might have to add a little bit of green to it. Yeah, that's gonna be a little, gonna be a little much so I'm gonna tone it down a little bit with some green sorry about the noise I may add just a tad drop of orange in this Don't look too much I want to give it the gold a little gold flavor yeah, that looks better. Okay, and this part is pretty time consuming tipping these scales. So I'll either, I'll show some of it and I'll either go into a time lapse or I'll just cut and come back to it later. So I'm gonna just tip these scales. use a smaller brush too. Yeah, let me get a smaller brush on here. Wow, 
Oh, much better. And this may be a little too bright, so I think I'm going to tone this gold down a little bit. I want it to be a little more orange. So let me fix that. I'll only come down about halfway and I'll kind of fade that out because the tip is not quite as, um, the tip scales aren't quite as noticeable as they are up high, but it will get, they will get tipped down here as well. It just may be a lighter touch on the brush to do that. What I'm doing is just going on each scale and just tipping it on there a little bit. Just kind of lining it. Okay, I got most of the washes on and I've highlighted the scales. You can see that. So I've tipped all the scales and highlighted them. I've got the bottom sponged in and I just took a piece of, a piece of live sponge or piece of sponge and cut it and kind of dry brushed it in on the bottom on the white parts of the fish and uh, now I'm going to go in and do some washes over it to really bring out that bronze color and then I'm going to go back in and bring out the detail in the pattern also And then we're just about, oh, I got to do, finish the fans too. I got to put the final color of the fans on. Uh, I usually do them last since I'm handling it so much, turning it, twisting it. Um, I'll do those last. All right, so I'm going to um, do some washes on it here now. Let's get this color here out of the way. And I want to do some... Good bronze color. I'm going to try to get that with the uh, orange. I think that was uh, burnt sienna here. Let's put a little bit of yellow in it. So 
probably a little bit more yellow. Like I say, these will be just real, real thin washes that I'll just build up. So I really want this to be lighter. It needs to have a little bit of a green tint to it, so I'm going to add a little bit of just a tiny bit of green here. And this will take me a few minutes to get it to just where I want it. Again, I want this pretty thin here, so I'm going to make a real thin wash, almost an ink consistency, a thin ink. And I'm just going to wash that on to the. Be careful not to get on the brown, the white down here, the gray. This would give it that bronze small mouth color. I'm going to go ahead and give these fans a wash here while I'm got this off. Because I need to start building color on these also. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting some on these fans. Okay, I'm going to save that wash color because I'll probably give it some more. Now I'm going to go in here and bring back some of the details of the patterns. So let me bring back my other palette I got over here. I'm just going back in with that black color that I was using earlier. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to wash those colors in. All right, I think I've got just about all the washes I'm going to do on it. Um, probably we will do some brush some highlights, dark highlights on the fin rays. Um, the pelvic fins need to be lightened up a little bit, and I'll do that off camera. Probably paint the inside of the mouth also as well. Uh, that's hard to see on camera, so I'll do that off. And then the, after that, uh, be clear coat and, uh, and then making the habitat base, making the rocks and the gravel like I did on the bass. Get it out of the way here. 
so it'll be similar I'm probably not gonna put any wood I think it'll just be some rocks with a um, crawfish or something down here on the bottom that he'll be looking at so he'll be, he'll be mounted nose down slightly but anyway I'll um, next time you see me I'll have it clear coated and um, we'll call it done